Hello, it's uh, morning prayer for Tuesday, October 18th. This is Pastor Keith coming to you uh, from the campus of Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, the island of Oahu. Welcome. Good to have you worshiping here or devoting, devotionaling with us this morning. This is the feast day, I guess you would call it, or the commemoration day of St. Luke the Evangelist, who was quite uh, uh, the writer, writing Luke and Acts, uh, huge portions of the New Testament. And in honor of his feast day, we are reading the first four verses of his gospel, according to Luke, and the last nine. Luke writes, since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. And then he, Jesus, said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. Luke's uh, beginning and ending of his first of three uh, uh, writings, the Gospel of Luke. The second is the, God, or is the Acts according to the Apostles, and we don't have a third one. He was going to write one. We don't know if he got it down on paper and it disappeared or if he ever got it down. But Luke was the one more than others who talked of Jesus, the disciples going to the Gentiles, the non-Jews, and sharing the Gospel of Jesus with everyone. A pule kako, let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired your servant Luke to reveal his gospel, in his gospel, the love and healing power of your son. Give your church the same love and power to heal and to proclaim your salvation among the nations to the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our healer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now may the God who heals, who saves, who spreads the good word to everyone, who welcomes everyone, may that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless you now and throughout this day. Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God. Amen.